on today's show. She's an actor, comedian, and host, and that sweet city woman who moves through the light, controlling my mind and my soul. It's Francis Night Fever Callier. Oh, he's an she's an actor, comedian, and host who is telling me lies, wearing a disguise, misunderstood, and just ain't no good. It's Angela Jive Talking Shelton. That's right. <laughs> She's the creator of Nerdtainment, who will always be your baby. She can make it shine. She can take forever, just a minute at a time. It's Sarah more than a woman at Wood. And finally, you can tell by the way he uses his walk. He's a woman's man. No time to talk, which is unfortunate because he's our host, Douglas Stan Alive Serene. Thank you so much, Sarah, and welcome everyone to Sight Unseen, the guessing game where our esteemed panel attempts to guess the purpose, aims, and possibly even the names of unique URLs. As always, they can only ask yes or no questions, and they get as many yes answers as they can stream together before they get 10 no answers and are defeated by the internet. How's everybody holding up today? Uh, yeah? uh, uh, okay. uh, oh, oh. Stretching. Okay. I forgot. We, we're touching guys right at the end of your workout. I yeah, that was it. Guys. Oh, yeah. uh, here's a couple hypotheticals to throw out. Sarah, you're moving to Tallahassee and you can take one element of LA with you. I'm going to take the lack of bugs. Lack of that? bugs. Lack There's of way bugs. too sure. many bugs in Florida, so I don't know why I'd move back there, but I would need less bugs. Uh, Angela, you can replace one thing in LA with one thing from Detroit. I'm tempted to just bring the black people. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? That's not a bad, that's not a bad choice. And maybe the black people of Detroit would appreciate that. It's, I think yeah. they would, and they deserve yeah. it. Francis, you yes. can move the LA entertainment industry anywhere in the world. I am thinking, where do I want to be? Uh, New Orleans. Ooh. New Orleans. Whoa. Yeah. You know There's Boo. Uh huh. Yeah. And Rice novels. Oh yeah, <laughs> but 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 that's because there's vampires there. If there's West vampires vampire. there, pick the place that you don't hit. want vampires, and it's muggy. It's so humid in the yeah, I love that. I, I love you. I was sending you. I know you were Paris. I was like oh, Paris. Paris. Yes. Paris. Yes. yes. Angela, you win. You <laughs> win. Yeah. Francis, you don't move it to Louisiana. Because you know what, Louisiana was is like the bad version of France. It's like it was like it was I a French was territory. From the United States. He's saying. I like the food there, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. Lots of culture. Kind of like Paris. You know, it's be quiet. Like, yeah. <laughs> Unlike Paris, which has no culture. No, no culture. No, not a yes. drop. Well, this is an argument that will not be solved. So let's move on to our first website, and the first website is an official TV show fan site. Your hint is that there were 119 episodes of this show produced. So we give our panel one wild guess just based on that. Sarah, what show do you think this is? New Girl. Angela, what show do you think this is? 227. Francis, what show do you think this is? Then I'm going to have to go with its companion if it's Amen. not Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm sure there are fan sites dedicated to all of those shows, but that is not the TV show fan site that we are looking for. So we will start our questioning with you, Sarah. I'm going to say the show is not still airing, correct? Yes, it is not still airing. Okay. Was this show airing in the 2000s, the aughts? No. One down, nine to go. Angela, I'm just doing it in the way that I can see things. <laughs> Was this show on the... On either NBC, ABC, or CBS? Yes, it was, yes. Okay. Okay, was this show in the 80s? Yes, <gasps> primarily or, in the 80s. Was this show considered a family show? No, I'm going to go ahead and say it was not a family show. Two down, eight to go, Francis. Was it an hour-long show? Yes. Ooh. Okay, was it about cops? Yes. Was it Hill Street Blues? No, it was not Hill Street Blues. Three <gasps> down, seven to go, Sarah. And hey, Angel. be careful out there. Bing, bing, bing. Ah, yeah. Best opening ever, yeah. Is it, just to clarify, it's a police procedural? Yes. There's <laughs> like, and that, that isn't that old. No, Hill Street Blues. And then what's the one that's, it's, what's it's, his name? I, NYPD Blue. NYPD is that? Blue. Then you've got, is that 80s? Oh, you guys are guessing. You guys are guessing. Sarah, I know. I set Sarah, them up. I asked. The 
So you got to ask See, a question. I get in trouble with guess. this every time. Yeah, that's okay. right. You're going to get in trouble. Um, 80s cops. Oh, oh, is it two female leads? Yes. Is it Cagney and Lacey? Yes, it is. Wow. Yes! That was so quick. I mean, how did you guys get there so darn quick? We that's love TV. Of- I want to take it to the official Cagney and Lacey website. Oh, look, at them, look at them. Look at those women. Look. Yes. What's, what's her name? She got a lawsuit about that outfit. That I love so that horrible. outfit. What? I, what? Oh, the cool the okay. Should this be, and, and all of it is fabulous. All it of is. it. You can find yeah. out. You can get all of the episode synopsis. They came back for four made-for-TV movies in the 90s. <laughs> Called Cagney and Lacey the Menopause Years. No, they did not. What? Stop no, it. That's they not real. Not. They didn't call it that. Apparently, what it was called here on their on their mm-hmm. official website. Have any of you ever seen uh Cagney and Lacey? Of, of course. course. Oh yes, of course. Required wow. viewing. Yeah. <laughs> right. so two female cops in the yeah. 80s. I mean there was nothing else on. There was no. nothing else on. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Sharon Glass and what's the, the other woman's name? Tyne Daly. Tyne Daly. Tyne Daly. Yeah. Tyne Daly won four times for oh. Best Actress. Sharon Glass won two times. And they were nominated mm-hmm. almost every year the show was on. Seven seasons, wow. 119 episodes. <gasps> look at them oh now. Oh, my God. They look so fun and fabulous. They yeah. sure yeah. do. That's Let me ask I- you this. Do any of you post pictures of your meals to Instagram? No. Well, I, I have have. posted Roscoe. Yes. But yeah. that's more of an homage. Of course. I, As you should. I love it. Right. No. That being said, yeah. I have posted uh, several meals <laughs> to uh, just, just Roscoe. Just Roscoe's. Uh, well, next up, we're looking for a food related Instagram. Your hint is that the majority of the posts are videos of a person doing something with food. So we give our panel a wild guess just based on that. Angela, what do you think this uh, Instagram is all about? I'm tempted to say, and I don't know how to describe it outside of the BuzzFeed when they do like a how to make whatever, and you just see the hands. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But like a, how... uh, like instructional videos, like quick yeah. instructional videos. Uh-huh. Francis, what do you think Instagram is all about? It's a person who is a food stylist. That's the kind there... of thing you're a parent and your child says to you, I want to be a food stylist. You're like, oh, I'm going to be you forever. Darn, I messed up. Or you could get a job. Sarah, what do you, what do you think this Instagram is all about? Uh, putting food on their face. Putting food on their face. Well, somebody is very close, but I'm going to need some specifics in order to bring it home. I need the specific food and the specific thing that these people are doing. So, Angela, we'll start our questioning with you. Is the food meat? No, the food is not meat. One down, nine to go. Francis. Is the food uh, medicinal, helpful to the skin, to the body on the outside? We can debate this afterwards, but I'm going to go ahead and say no. So two down, eight to go. I don't know everything that's good for skin, and there's some weird skin stuff out there. Uh, Two down, eight to go. Sarah. Is this covering one food? One type of food, yes. Is it a condiment? No, it is not a condiment. Three down, seven to go. Angela. Is it an avocado? No, it is not an avocado. But uh, but I'm sure that there are tons of hipster uh, Instagrams dedicated to avocados. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably mm-hmm. four down, six to go. Francis. Is it uh, cucumbers and all the cat videos and people with, scaring what? cats with the cucumbers? All those oh. cats are afraid of snakes in the wild. And then people put cucumbers down. And they'll take, yeah, it's a thing it's on the sad, internet. It's sadistic. Yeah. And then wow. the cat comes around the corner, jumps because it thinks it sees a snake. But it's a cucumber and everybody laughs. They go, ha! Now I regret that, this, that that's not the Instagram. Right? <laughs> Because that sounds ridiculous and amazing. Five down, five to go, Sarah. Is it artistic and some sort of styling artistic? Is that where we were close with this? No, it's not. Six down, four to go, Angela. Is it supposed to be funny? I'm going to say funny's in the eye of the beholder. 
just a legalistic answer here. That's a yeah, very I would say because it, it it is not comedy. It, they're not comedy posts. They're not, but they're not. Are, so, okay, could I ask I you this? So. Way? Is, are they purely instructional? Is this an instructional site? Mm -hmm. No, it is not an instructional site. Francis, here's your late hint. Sarah was the one that was close. On the face. On the face. Okay. Like, and I'm, this is not me. I'm just throwing this out to the group. <laughs> it's I'm not asking this, but like how people were doing those like posts with the bread on their face. You know what right. I mean? Or look I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you just based on the fact that you said that, Francis. All you got to do is say it and you and get the, it. People doing the, 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 the oh bread my God. on the face? Yes, because we're going to bread face oh. blog. The bread face blog. I and what this person does. Oh, red face mushing, yeah. What why? Yeah, that's a thing. What are you saying, Francis? That's a don't thing. Pretend like, don't pretend it is a that's thing. A thing. That's, that's one hundred yeah, that's one hundred percent what I was talking about. I've seen these. They they smush what? bread into their face. Yeah. What yeah. are people that yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. Oh, I've seen this. I you guys have crazy. seen this before? Yeah, this is a big. This is a I big trend. Oh God, I hope they're the not. The Cafe Dumont. Yeah, the oh, beignets all day. That? that is raw. Yeah. Uh, sometimes she has a friend help her out. The New Hollywood. Oh my oh. God! Oh. Ah, that's awesome. I love it. <laughs> oh, not syrup! No, don't do it. No. Oh no. It's a there, <laughs> there are entire Twitch channels uh, yeah. devoted to this. So you're saying that this is like a thing that many people know about. Yeah, yes. I've heard of it. Yeah. It's a hot trend. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know that it's a hot trend. It's hot, but hot, 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 hot. I, am, no, I live on the internet, so I am I more than impressed that you that you guys got there because you just said, "Yeah, is it bread face?" <laughs> I was like. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. It's bread facing. Yeah. Like, who here is bread faced? No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Says, you ain't never bread faced. Bread? Yes. Yeah. You say it like that. Like, come on. Like, I have I walked down the street? Yes. No. It's weird. No. Of course you have. Well, once I saw it, I was like, I gotta try it. I put it on my yeah. face. You are that person. I am that person. You're the person for your parents say, if all your friends jumped off a bridge, would you too? You're, You're like, yeah. I, I always give it a try. I'm the kid you put the warning on the Tide Pods for. <laughs> oh, no. Here we are heading into the internet speed round. Now, I'm going to put 120 seconds on the clock, and you just keep throwing questions at me. For this site, we're looking for a link to an etiquette manual. This etiquette manual is dedicated to one location, one type of location, and go. Is it Buckingham Palace? No, it is not Buckingham Palace. Is it, is it a? Is it? No, it's not church. Is it a room in your house? No, it is not a room in your house. It is. A, is it for associated with an occasion? Um, no, not a no, not a specific occasion like a wedding or something like that. Right. No. Is it the White House? No, it is not the White House. Come on, anymore. Um, <laughs> Is it a um like a White House, like a Buckingham Palace? Is it a like big a famous people? place? No, it is not a big famous place. Okay, okay. read the read the read the, the 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 information again one more time. Say uh, it again. The etiquette manual dedicated to one type of location. Oh, okay. So um restaurants? No, it is not restaurants. Museums. Uh no, it is not museums. Theater. Is it play. Theater. It is not school. Uh not theater. Is it not the workplace? No, it is not the workplace. It is more uh, recreational than that. Stadium? Um, is it stadium? Sporting event? not stadium. Ooh. How about sex parties? No, it is not sex party. Although there should be etiquette manuals yeah. for that, I'm sure. Yeah. Absol yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're, uh, we're close live with... TV? What's that? Live TV? No, it's not an etiquette manual for live TV. It is open to the public. Angela, you were close. You were getting close with a uh, restaurant. Oh, okay. Uh, restaurant, a fair, a zoo, a party. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh supermarket. Nope, nope, nope. A no farmer's market. market. A, a grocery store. Market. Nope. Um, uh, uh, let's see. Cafeteria? Uh, Not a cafeteria. A buffet. Uh, farm? 
a buffet. Not a cafe. What did you say? A far farm? A farm. No, no not a farm. A nope. buffet. Nope, not a buffet. <laughs> oh, uh, guys, uh, we hit the zero. Uh, Sorry to say you did not get that one. Uh, guys, I'm going to give you the 75-page manual for the pub. pub etiquette. For pub etiquette. Can you imagine that you need 75 pages to learn how to go to a pub? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Well, I, I, thought, I didn't realize it was complicated like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they answer all the, all the questions like, what is a pub? How uh -huh. do I know it's a pub? This is not a silly question. I think it is. Well, <laughs> we have, Angela and I got into a conversation about the differences between like a tavern and a uh -huh. bar and uh -huh. a pub. Because I think that those were um, delineations, I would say, in the 60s, 50s, 60s, 70s. These uh -huh. are all, I would I say, they still leftover names. I think they still should be designations because there's a difference. There is a well, difference. They Rule two there was only one or two people can go up there. The whole group can't order drinks. And that's a decent rule. That is yeah. a decent yeah. rule. Yeah. If you've you ever, I, I've worked bars. If you've never mm -hmm. worked a bar, you don't know, understand there is a bar etiquette. Pantomime ritual is what they, is, is what they do. Yes. Uh, don't jump the queue. That's British for line. The barkeep will get to you. Yeah, take don't a breath. Scowl. Oh, this is a don't scowl, frown, or glare. Yeah, wow. Are they like wild animals? Like, don't look up. <laughs> I work in the bar, you can look me in the eye, and I didn't like attack you. No, <laughs> um, now we're going to move on to our celebrity sighting round. For this round, the panel tries to guess a famous person or group of people, living or dead, that has an official website. Okay. We offer no clues on this one. <laughs> Sorry, we answer no clues on this one. We'll start our guessing or questioning with you, Francis, to discover the website for this famous group of people. How about the doors? We'll start there. Oh, oh wow. Uh, no, yeah. it is not It is not the doors. You burned a guess just on a very specific band right out, right out the gate. I don't know. Uh, you, you could have asked, is it a band? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, sorry. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> How are we getting worse? Okay. It could because okay. remember a group of people doesn't mean it's a band. Who came up with bread face? Who uh, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Remember, you, you remember when Let she got bread face? Not guys. forget we got bread face. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna just back us up a bit and say, is it a musical group? No, it is not a musical oh. group. Two down, eight to go. Take, take that takes a big thing off the table. Are they related to each other? No, it is not a family. Three it down, seven to go. Is it a religious group? No, it is not a religious group. Four down, six to go. Sarah. Is it a political group? No, it is not a political group. Five down, five to go. Angela. Is it a nationality? No, it is not a nationality. Six oh, down, man. four to go. Is it connected to artistic endeavors? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Are they connected to dance in any way? Yes. Ah! Okay. Is it okay? Okay. Is it uh, what's the the koya? What's the martial art dance? Oh, <laughs> oh yes, yes. Capo, capoeira, capoeira. Capoeira. Is it a dance that incorporates something else? Okay. Uh, is it a dance? <laughs> like, like he can't hear you. <laughs> <say it>. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a dance? Sneaky, sneaky. Is it dance combined with something else? <laughs> no, it's not dance combined with something else. Seven down, three to go. <laughs> um, is it uh, Sarah, it's, it's Sarah. Sarah. Is this, okay, so a dance group, are we looking for like a touring dance group, like the name of a dance group that's out there performing? Yes. That's what we're narrowed it down to. Okay. Uh, if, is it the uh, Alvin Ailey dance group? We all know it. Yes, it is. <laughs> I was like, it's got to be Alvin Ailey or else we're screwed. We don't know. <laughs> it's out there, guys. The good old Alvin Ailey oh, dance Oh, they're so company. good. Yeah, right? Alvin oh, yeah. Ailey, wonderful oh. person, really changed uh, dance history in 1958. Great it stuff. Started right now. in 58. I know. I didn't realize. Yes. Yes. 
He was born wow. in 1931. Wow. Yeah. Hey, hey. One of my favorites, Will from So You Think You Can Dance, joined them. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Years ago. I don't know if he's still there. Yeah. It was always, when I was growing up, it was always so amazing to meet somebody who had been in the troupe or been part of that group. You know, in the Black community, it's just such a strong, powerful, iconic mm. ensemble, you know, and you know, and, and to be able to see for, you know, the one of the first, like, recognized groups. Yeah, I, I mean, and I think it's clear that like when you think of how many dance, if you sit down right now and say, how many dance groups do you, can you name? Yeah. <laughs> You know, like and that was the first on our all of our minds. Yeah, that's the only one that I'm positive exists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> right. Or you could name you could name like the Bolshoi Ballet, or I think that there's a you know, yeah, like, style, like Twyla or whatever, like st directors or right. whatever. Yeah. 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 But like in terms of a dance company, like yeah. knowing their name, I think Alan right. is pretty much iconic. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if, if you're a little bit younger that, I mean, we're all like, what, 28? I right. think yeah. like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it doesn't get much younger than us. Yeah. Right. You think of the Joffrey, you think of ABC, you think of I don't know ABC. American Ballet. Oh, oh, American, oh I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I think of ABC, I think of At the Playground uh, <laughs> I, and I, Aisha. Oh, ABC. ABC, <laughs> BBD, the East, East Coast, Coast family. family. Yeah. 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 Or, you know, when we were done. Yeah. The score today was Internet One, Panel Three. You guys killed it. Breadface. How did you get Breadface? I do not know. That's our show. A special thanks to all the websites we mentioned and to the Internet for being the LASIK surgery that allows us to clearly see the true nature of humanity. Angela and Francis, what do people need to know about the Sexy Liberal Tour that you guys are doing? You can go to sexyliberal.com to get tickets mm -hmm. and people laugh about what's going on in politics. Come on over there, August 22nd. It's a virtual tour and yeah. there's multiple multiple acts. It's Stephanie Miller, uh, John Fugel saying Hal Sparks and us and then a special guest. This next show on the that starts on the 22nd is um, Bob Seska will also be a part of it. And it's everything from like stand up to sketches to rants to, and it's just a lot of fun. Right. We've done two shows so far. If you and are you guys doing a little bit of all of that? Are you guys doing some some ranting okay, and some a little bit of everything? Everything. A little bit of everything. Are you doing any of your sketches? Are you uh, any of your yeah. legendary sketches? Oh, oh awesome. No. I highly recommend people checking that out. The two of you gals working together is is amazing. I mean, you guys are it's just hilarious. Not the um, red thing, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, guys, if for one thing alone, you got to see the bread face sketch. The bread face sketch is just it's good. It's powerful. It's, it's, it's right. amazing. It's not, I, I don't know. I think cat cucumber and bread face is kind of like, I don't know which one I like. Uh, I like more. You can see the first two shows that already are up there. Look, immediate gratification and mm -hmm. an anticipated event. You get it all at sexyliberal.com. <laughs> Please subscribe, comment, and Patreon entertainment as well. You won't regret it, and we certainly appreciate it. For Francis Callier, Angela V. Shelton, and Sarah Atwood, I'm Douglas Ryan. May all of your search results always be optimal. <laughs> <laughs>